Right now, we're controlling this simple instrument by using our virtual keyboard. But there is another way, and that way is through a MIDI keyboard. In this course, we're not going to go into all the depths and details about the MIDI language and what it's capable of doing. But for now, I'll just explain what a MIDI keyboard is if you have no idea. For starters, if you Google image search MIDI keyboard, you'll see that there are hundreds and hundreds of different options to choose from. And really, do you need a MIDI keyboard? Absolutely not. Some people like a MIDI keyboard because it gives them more feel and control, and they can actually be a little bit more like you're playing a musical instrument. And all a MIDI keyboard is is a piece of hardware that's supposed to look like a traditional piano keyboard. Some of these have some additional features like knobs or pads or buttons. All those things we're not going to be able to use inside of Soundation. But we can do inside of Soundation with a MIDI keyboard that we can't do with the virtual keyboard is also set the velocity. And velocity is just how hard or soft we're going to press the key. And in this case, with all of these instruments, velocity is routed to volume. So we can control how loud or how soft any one of these notes is that's being played. Again, you definitely don't need a MIDI keyboard, and the MIDI keyboard I have on my lap right now is so tiny that it's not even really all that useful. However, I just wanted to show you how it would work and how you would set one up. So what you have to do is head down here to this little MIDI icon, and the first time you click on it, it will ask you to download and install some kind of driver. I had zero problems with that, but if you have any problems, feel free to let us know, or you can contact the Soundation people if you're curious, I am working in Firefox. Okay, so I can click that. And in this case, it's turned blue right away. And that's because my MIDI keyboard is already plugged in and it's turned on. If you click this button and you don't have a MIDI keyboard plugged in, you're just going to get kind of a scrolling wheel because it's trying to search for one. And that can be really annoying. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard plugged in, I wouldn't recommend clicking this button. But now that it's plugged in, You can hear that I'm hitting notes, they're changing in levels of amplitude and loudness, and you're not seeing anything go on on this virtual keyboard, so I can even close this down. And just to try to emphasize the velocity changes, I'll hit it really hard, and I'll hit it really soft. This isn't the greatest velocity sensitive keyboard in the world, but I hope you can get the idea. So let's go in and record our very first MIDI clip. All right, and for, to do that, I think I'll go over to the SAM-1 and I'll choose the house piano here. And to change the octave, I actually have to go onto my MIDI keyboard and adjust the octave from there. So I'm going to turn it down an octave. All right, that's what I want to have. So let's go ahead and just turn the metronome on. I'm going to click play so I can get a feel for what the tempo is. Yeah, you can tell this keyboard is not the best. I'm just hitting with like two fingers and I'm getting all these horrible dissonances, but that's okay. Let's record in our first pass. And what I like to do is actually let this play out a couple of bars first and then record in my clip because it doesn't give us a count in feature. So I kind of have to just go with the flow here. Okay, not the prettiest thing in the world, but we'll notice if I double click on this, we can open up the edit note clip. I can pull this out, zoom over, zoom out a little bit, and we can see these various notes that I've brought in. So I played these at a kind of constant velocity, but we can do one more example here. Great, and now if I open up this guy, we can see all these different colors and these are indicating the velocity. And notice that in certain situations, if I play really, really softly, 
we don't even hear the note. So just something to be aware of. Once again, a MIDI keyboard is not essential to your setup in any way, shape, or form. However, for some people, especially people who are very comfortable playing on a piano or playing on a keyboard, it can uh, get your hands away from the computer and onto something that kind of resembles a real instrument. And for a lot of people, I know that that can really jumpstart their creativity.